Today was the last day of the Illinois General Assembly's veto session. Lawmakers got several things done while also choosing not to take action on other topics. Our Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton joins us live from Springfield now with a wrap up of this year's veto session. Max. Well, hey, Daniel, and lawmakers are heading home now, obviously, but before they left, they passed several pieces of legislation, including one that's lifting the uh, moratorium on nuclear power plants in the state beginning in 2026. But what's also grabbing headlines is the stuff they chose not to take action on. And one of those things that they left without taking action on was the Investing Kids Scholarship Tax Credit Program. Now, it's set to expire at the end of this year, and it allows people to donate to private school scholarship programs and receive a 75% state tax credit. Throughout the two weeks of veto session, advocates, including many kids, came to the Capitol lobbying lawmakers to save their scholarship. Speaking after the House adjourned, GOP leader Tony McCombie says she's glad the nuclear bill is headed to Governor Pritzker's desk now. But she's very disappointed lawmakers didn't take action on investing kids. However, she hopes maybe something can get done in the future. It is my hope uh, that over the remainder of the year uh, that the advocates for and against this will actually come together and will uh, come up with a remedy and come to the speaker and to the president and say, this is my roll call, we have the votes, and let's call this bill. of teachers applauded the lawmakers move not to uh, take up action on investing kids. They said in a statement released after lawmakers left that uh, they're happy that lawmakers are giving and ending the program will give top priority to public education while also ensuring every kid has equal or guaranteeing equal opportunities for every student. Now lawmakers they aren't set to return here until mid-January back at the Capitol and reporting live from. Oh, and that was Max Cotton reporting in Springfield.